hit that throne chair. Let's go hit that throne chair. Okay, let's cut some eagle heads in. Okay, so you can see here I got the whole thing cleaned up with the bigger blower now so I can see what's really going on. So this crack's been on my mind, okay? I don't want to have to come back four years later and put an eagle head back on, the th an eagle beak back on that fell off, okay? I really don't. His biggest concern is so he has his tall back. So nobody from the road can see when he's sitting in his chair, relaxing, drinking a beer, doing whatever he does, right? He wants privacy for this. So I'm going to have to wait. He's going to be back in about 10 minutes. I think this whole block has to be cut right out. Because I don't want to come back and fix it. And it will be a real pain in the ass. That crack goes all the way through, guys. It's a deep crack. So. But I want to get him to sit there first so I can uh, see how low he wants the eagle head handles and there'll be armrests all in here too right okay so I'll just uh, maybe start taking off some bark or something for now okay so we got a great group on Facebook it's called carving fusion world of wood carvers some of you uh, guys are like hey does anybody know how to get the bark off the tree does anybody know how to get the bark off the tree? Well, here's a sledgehammer and a pry bar, and it's called goddamn manual labor. <laughs> bring the hater comments, bring the hater comments. <laughs> okay, so I just had a good chat with my buddy Rob. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to cut this out here, block that out, and I'm going to block it out here too. And uh, I'll be using my 034, still 034.
Okay, so I've been carving like a mother. Sucker. Okay. So those, those are going to be the eagle heads. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do here yet. So if you don't know what you're going to do, just leave it till next time you come. I'll take a picture home. I'll study it and figure out what I'm going to do on the tops. This block sits better. I know you see that gap there, but it sits better in there. I kind of got the shape, the seat shaped a bit for the ass to sit in. I talked to him. I'm not going to put the, the seat all on here till next spring. This cedar needs to dry out. We'll put a tarp, a couple tarps over it this winter. We'll take that the seat block right out. Put it in his, in his garage or in his house, let it dry out. Then next spring I'll come back and put the wedges in, right? And then we can see tall it then. So you guys can see the shape of it here. Sorry guys, I didn't do much filming because I've just been working my ass off and Rob's here. I don't think Rob wants to be on YouTube. So you'll see the eagle heads. This is going to be cut down, I think. I'm going to take a picture of it and I'll figure out in the next couple of days what I'm going to do up top here. But okay, so uh, since I got all the bark taken off, a nice area. Now it's time to carve a big wood spirit on here. I don't have that much depth, I only got about this much room to carve depth. So it's just going to be the silhouette of his wood spirit and his beard is going to be going whoosh, this way. Okay. Okay guys, so that's pretty well it for me today. Um, Rob's uh, gone to sleep. He has to work this graveyard shift. So he was out here the whole time. So I couldn't really film too much, but that's okay. You can see all the work I got done, right? So uh, it's been a lot of work guys. Look where this tree first came out. That's the where it first started there. So I've cut all this stuff out, right? I haven't decided what I want. So those, those are going to be eagle heads, obviously, right? Okay. I still got to fix the chair, make it more flatter. This gap down here, you can see it's a little bit wobbly. Let's see here. See, so that's that will be cleaned up. If you guys can think of any ideas, I love reading the comments, what I can do up top here. Cut it lower. See, I was thinking like of a dragon's uh, wing kind of thing with the spike on the end, but I think that's just too much. So if you guys can think of any ideas, what to do there, I'd love to, I'd love to read them, your uh, ideas. Okay, so, um, Another thing too, all this crack here, see the cracks? Tomorrow, I'm going to come here, I'm going to drill this out, I'm going to put a good dowel in there. And I might try and get a dowel somewhere else in here. Because once the dowel's in, then you know the piece is a lot safer. I'm going to come back tomorrow, I'm going to carve a monster wood spirit on the back. It will be a time lapse video. And, uh, Let's see how much depth we got to carve the wood spirit. So that's a true amount of depth from there. From here. So we got a good six inches depth. But I don't want to cut through it. Okay. So let's do the Jordy sits to end this video. Oh yeah, and I want to show you guys the truck that he has for sale too.
Okay, you guys, so again, the top parts, I want to see what you guys have to say, maybe what I can make on the top parts, the two end top pieces. Let's go look at this truck. Okay, so this Ford is a 1996 4x4. It's got a 351, I think it's a Cleveland in it, or maybe it's a Windsor. Okay, it's a three quarter ton. Comes with all the cedar in the back. It's got, the, I'm not a mechanic guys, but it's got the lock, the locking hubs. He says they're a lot better. It's got some rust, uh, not rust, but just surface rust on the hood, which I don't give a shit. It's just, I'm not gonna be driving this every day, guys. Interior's pretty good shape, but I'll be getting that dirty fast, if I get it. He is having a mechanic come and look at it because he says it's got a miss. What do you guys think? You think it's time Jordy gets a truck? It's got a little bit of rust on the bumper. Who cares? I'm not worried about that. This is for you, Evil Rick. What do you think? Ford 250, custom, manual lock hubs, 4x4, 351 Cleveland or Winsler, and it's a three quarter ton. And also, it's got a little bit of rust here. No, I don't care about that again. Also, it has a heavy duty trailer hitch with this thing, and it's got the the brakes for the like the the brake thing for the trailer so the if your trailer has brakes the truck will make the brakes for the trailer work right so what do you guys think does Jordy need, need an old truck for his chainsaw carving to get wood say it in the comments what do you think the evil Rick what do you think bud I like it It purrs. See, there's that thing for the brakes. Jordy drives, guys. Jordy drives. That's it. Gotta stop and get those pickle fries. Love those pickle fries. And a glass of milk.